What's going on, everybody? Mr. Miola here, and welcome back to the Crystal Isles Extinction Course Series. Ah, oh, well, here he is, our big, dreadful Spinosaurus beast with a saddle on his back and a bunch of levels pumped into these absolute destruction hands. Unfortunately, the one thing he's missing is a bunch of health. So today we are going on an adventure, or at least we're going to start off with an adventure, to the Redwood Forest biome. Or at least somewhere I can try and find some uh, some honey. Some giant honey bee honey. Because uh, we want to craft some health potions and get this guy in tip-top shape, ready to take on the Alpha Tribesman that's chilling just over this tiny little hill behind our base. I don't like him being there. He's invading on our territory. I'm a little bit... I don't like that, okay? I'm, I'm a hermit. I like to live alone. I don't like little alpha tribesmen that can jump 100 feet into the sky, threatening my existence just outside of my little beach house, okay? This is my place of solitude, my place of chillaxingness. And just having him over there, I'm not very chillaxed at the moment. But if you guys do enjoy this video, I just want to ask you, if you do, then make sure to go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. And uh, if you haven't yet done so, and you're enjoying my content, then make sure to go ahead, drop the sub on the channel. And um, just as a heads up as well, YouTube has been running a little bit of a um, a purge of subscribers lately. So just double check that if you thought you were subscribed, if you're still, still subscribed, because it's been unsubbing a lot of people from a lot of channels. Um, and, but yeah, it's, it, it is what it is. It's all good. Uh, I do want to go ahead and get us a grappling hook before we go on today's adventure though, just because, um, you know, giant honey, it's, it's, it's out of my reach. I can't reach it. I don't have the super powered jumping prowess of the alpha orange or red tribesman. This is chilling just over there. Um, unfortunately, but let's go, let's get out of this overheating tropical paradise out here. Um, yeah, it's actually really hot out here for some reason. Actually, no, let's not fly. We're going to fly. Don't worry, but let's take our teleporter over to, I just hope I've got everything by the way. Let's take it over to the edge of paradise. Because that kind of puts us a little bit more central to the world. And then we should be able to navigate our way a little bit nicer, a little bit quicker from that point. If we ever end up on the other side of this teleporter, that is. It's taken an unreasonable and reasonably long amount of time. All right, we're here. We're here. <laughs> Last time we were here is when we tamed up our deadly spano. Um, and the time before that was when we died about a bazillion times trying to tame that Spanu. But let's go find some high ground. Uh, I guess we'll sit on top of one of these little mountains around here. Because I actually have no idea where the Redwood Forest biome is. I have no idea where we're going to be able to find what we're looking for. I see a bunch of big trees over there. I, I hope that's it. Um, nothing tells me otherwise. But I just want to get some high ground so I can pop my little spyglass out. Have a little bit of a scope around the place and at least see what we're kind of in for. I uh, also want to just make sure to avoid any wyverns through the desert because those guys have just been absolute pains in my backside. My booty is real sore from them. They're just really painful to deal with. Anyways, this seems like as good a place as any. It's actually really quiet out here. It's too quiet. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So... Over that way, that's the beacon we accidentally teleported to that time and we had to get home. Um, over that way is like some floating island looking things. I have never been over there. I want to see that. Uh, we've got some... Oh, it looked like there was like a health bar, but it's just kind of like a little black mark. I don't know if that's showing up for you guys. Anyway, red trees, whatever that... Oh, oh, volcano. That's a volcano. I think that's lava. I think. We got little tropical paradise. That's interesting. Um, maybe that, that kind of looks swampy. That doesn't even look like a redwood forest. Do we even have a redwood forest? Where am I going to find my, my honey? I need to find some bees. I'm going to fly this way. This, you know what I should have done? Should have just teleported straight to the red, the red thing. The red guy. It also looks like we might be flying into a couple, uh, a couple very dark rain clouds up here. Let's, let's hope that that isn't the case. Um, hold on just a second, guys. Do you guys see that? Despite this lag, do you see that manticore chilling right beneath us? Oh no, he's playing. Don't come up here, little guy. You stay down there, okay? You be a good manticore and you just stay there. Heck away from me. He's only level 20. But he's got 204,000 health. So I'm going to avoid that at every cost possible. All right, we're going to go this way. 
I feel like I just got a good feeling. I feel like this is the right direction we want to be heading in. Um, oh, Quetzal. Okay, this lag. It's terrifying me. I do not like this lag. I'm not one with the lag. However, big boy level 20 Quetzal right here. I think we're going to come across some pretty dangerous creatures the further we go in this direction, by the way. So I just, I need to be focused. We can't go letting our guard down today. Today's the day we're really kind of exploring the unknown more than we have yet. What's that? A Drake Dracovinator. Drake, okay. It's like a raptor. I don't want to, yeah, you know what? Let's get, let, 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 let's get back in the sky. I don't know if the Dracovinator can pounce me off my uh, Pteranodon. Don't really want to risk it either. Uh, but we've made it to the red, the red thing in my bubby. A little bit laggy out this way, but so be it. What's that? That's a Guanadon, right? Dreadful Guanadon. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. I guess we've never been out here, so the world is kind of like loading around us. Oh gosh. Okay. Yep. 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 Let me. Let me just. Okay. This ain't cool. I don't like this. I can't see where I'm going. What's with all the red tentacles? The ground is like reaching out. The vines have like captured the obelisk. Oh, we're in a swamp. All right, I'll take that. That's fine. Let's just chill here for a second. Uh, what do we got out here, by the way? What is that? Something in the water over there. I think there's a rock between it. Uh, demo de demonic? A de de demonic sarco? Okay. Sure, 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 sure. All right. I just want to let the world load a little bit. And let's let's get some high ground. I don't like being all the way down here. Um, something tells me we're not going to find much honey in this area. Um, but nothing says otherwise yet either. What's this little guy? And a road... What are we coming across? A Redemus? Sorry, little guy. Oh, it gave me citron and long grass? Cool. Got some vegetables out of him. Nice. Nice. Uh, I don't like this place. I don't like this place. We do have some wyverns, though. An Ember Crystal Wyvern. <gasps> I should have brought my Primal Crystals. We could have tamed an Ember Crystal Wyvern. We've only got Tropical Crystal Wyverns. All right. You know what? This... Oh, wait. No, this looks very ab aberration-y. I was going to say, this look, This looks like the, 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 the forest that I'm looking for. But no. This is some messed up... I don't even know what you call this. Uh, It's kind of like... Whispering Woods? <laughs> Is it Whispering Woods from Fortnite? It's been a while since I played. Uh, oh, level 150 Trudon somewhere nearby too. Okay. I'm just going to stay in the sky. Uh, all right, we're, we're at least kind of beating a lot of the dinosaurs spawning in. So we're, we're safe in that regard. But once these areas become like fully populated, I'm not going to, I'm not, yeah, no. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, no, just no, just straight up no. Um, big trees. Big trees is what I see. Not a lot of them, but just straight up big trees. Big vines. What is this place? I've never seen anything like this before. This looks awesome. Get a load of this. It, I don't know, what am I supposed to be thinking about all of this? Is this meant so you can like run up to the top platform? I guess so. Maybe not. Oh no, there's no way you're climbing that. Okay, these surfaces are like. Oh yeah, there's no way to run to, anyways. Um, all right, let's just check out this big tree. Maybe we'll find some honey up here. Maybe just maybe. We can actually get inside of it. Look at this. You can live inside of the tree. We could be Brandon Stark, the three-eyed raven. I don't see any honey though. You know what we could actually do? We could do this. Okay. Good dismount. Um, still don't see any, like, redwood forest biomes in particular. A lot of trees and stuff, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so what we can do is open up the, um, the settings thing here, right? Now, if we go and turn enable aggression outline on, I think think it's going to outline dinosaurs okay so as you can see our pteranodon here is outlined in green um i think aggressive dinosaurs are going to be outlined in red wild dinosaurs outlined in white i absolutely hate this feature of the mod however what it does also outline 
is honeybees. There we go. So you can see the dinosaurs already being outlined a little bit. If you tuned in for my Jurassic World, Jurassic Park uh, modded series uh, like a year or two ago, you would have seen this mod in the past. Um, but yes, I'm hoping that it highlights some bees for me. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing none. Also, there's going to probably be a high chance that you guys are going to spot something before I do. Guardian Stego. First one of those we've seen. Alpha Triceratops. Yeah, I guarantee that I'm going to miss it. I will... Can you guys hear that? Hold on. I can't hear it anymore. I... Can you hear that? I can hear bees. I can hear honeybees. Where are they? All right, I'm going crazy. This game's teasing me. That is like honeybees if I've ever heard honeybees. But I'm not seeing no. Wait, is that? What's that? That's just a rock. Right, I thought maybe it was a giant beehive or something. All right, I'm going crazy. That's level 45 Quetzal up there as well. Hey, can you guys hear the honey? Well, not hear the honey. Can you hear the bees? Or am I losing my mind? I think I'm losing my mind. I'm going honeybee crazy. Maybe I'll check up in this tree. See, Aberration had uh, little beehives quite frequently around the world. Which makes me wonder if this little Aberration type area might have... You know, it might have, might have some honey in it. Well, I'm, all I'm seeing is a bunch of weird plants that I don't recognize. Okay. <gasps> Check it out! Look what we just found! Aha! That's why. This is why we're using the outline today. As much as I hate it, it's helpful. There it is, baby. There it is. All right. Let's do this thing. Let's get our infinite grapple hook on the ready. There is a dreadful scorpion all the way down. Okay, this... Okay. We're going to get attacked by bees. Where am I going to fall to? Oh, it's going to get bad. This is going to get ugly, but stuff it. Let's do it. We need honey. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared about this. We should have got insect repellent. Oh, well. Okay. Okay. Kill the bees. Kill the bees. Not the bee. Oh, I'm, I'm actually... Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. I am... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I pressed C accidentally. I'm pretty sure C knocks you off of your dinosaur. I, I, no, oh my God, I'm so far away. Why am I such a dummy? Oh, this is, yep. Well, add one to that death counter that some of you guys are working on. Oh my Lord. I can't believe that. Well, today it was inevitable. But it has turned into a rescue mission. Okay, let's get this boy in here. We're taking you with us. Oh man, I really don't want to. Oh no, no, no! This is bad. This is bad. Um, I think we gotta go that obelisk or that one. But maybe, maybe I'll just check first. Okay, we need to go to that obelisk right there. That's the green. That's the blue. So it's 60, 60. Okay. We, we had it right the first time. Thankfully, we can actually do that. It's going to save us a little bit of travel time. I'm also going to jump on top of this guy. Because... I want to be ready to go, just in case, you know? I saw those sarcos out there. I don't want to mess around with them. Let's do this thing. Alright. So... <laughs> oh, trust big old dummy Miola to go and mess this one up. Something so small... I still find a way to go and butcher up an entire adventure. Okay, which tree? I, I think it's that one over there, right? Where's our map? I should have, I should have paid. Yeah, it's it's definitely, definitely that one. 
Or maybe, like, just past it. I don't know. It's in that direction, that's what I'm trying to say. Or at least we'll see a bit of a beacon when we get a little bit close. Oh, I'm not even sprinting. Come on, buddy. Keep your booty moving. Uh, all right, let's go and let's go and uh, level some stuff up just in case we need it. Okay. Well, that's one way to <laughs> lose the bees, I suppose. Uh, no, this isn't going to be the one. Definitely not. I can hear bees again, though. All right. That was. It must be that one. Can you not hear these bees? It's like the game is just teasing me. It's got to be here somewhere. Where's that beacon at? There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. There's my little T-Ran. All right. I uh, I gotta, I gotta land my wyvern. My wyvern's just the turning circle on it is just disgraceful. So let's just go and land him for now. On a mushroom of all places, because why not? Okay. You're gonna be. My helpful little navigator right now. How far exactly did I fall? I'm so scared right now. If we ruin this, like all I gotta do is accidentally press E, I'll fall to my death and we have no way of getting back out here. That's 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 where we're at right now. There's a dreadful scorpion or a demonic scorpion or something over there. There's, is that my body? That's my body, okay. Okay. I feel kind of safe. No, I don't, there's a pearl over here. Yep, and he, saw, he spotted me. And he spotted me. Or is it a thylacolio? It's eating my buddy. Alright. Just don't get pounced. Don't get pounced. Come on! I don't know how much health it's got, but he's bleeding. If it bleeds, you can kill it. Okay. Let's do this thing. I think we're safe. Final last words or what? Final last words. Not today. Nope. Not today, not today. Let's go, let's go. All right. Body recovered. Just the way I like it. And we've got five giants bee honey. Nice. Okay, well, lucky for us, we actually brought a teleporter with us too. Um, where's my guy? So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play a little bit of, play a little bit of a game here, right? What about my hotbar? Oh, great. Perfect time for a storm. If I've ever seen one. All right. I don't know why this happened to my hot bar. It's a bit annoying, but so be it. Uh, okay. There we go. That's pretty much everything, right? Nearly. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do, we're going to drop... Wait. Of course you can't play... Okay. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. You can't place a teleporter on top of a mushroom. Makes sense. Or enough of it, at least. Man, I don't like this place. This place is scary. All right, let's chop this tree down. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. At least we got some red mushrooms out of it. Who's I? I need you to come down here, buddy. You're not even standing on anything anymore. You're not even standing on nothing. Um, I can do this though, right? All right, that'll that that'll that'll do. Nope, land. Okay, so here's my here's my idea. We go. Teleport, and we go beach alamiola, and then I take my pteranodon and get the heck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> well, we rescued what? We've got a backup dinosaur now, basically. So if things do go wrong again, we're good. All right, fantastic. Oh, I need more honey though. That's not even enough for one potion. Oh, okay. We gotta be careful out here. We actually got, we actually got tiger, we got, well, thylacolias, and we all know what they do. They pounce us off of our friends. All right, it's all good. I can see another, yeah, you can't jump that high, surely. I can see another beehive, like, over this side, it looks like. There it is, there it is. Is this one a little bit safe? No, no. Something, it sounded like something just jumped at me, but I think we're okay. Um, why are these going to be placed in, like, the worst possible locations? Like, there's one beneath me, too. Maybe I'll have to check that one out. So, if I... Oh, I guess this one might not be terrible. All right, where's it going to shoot me, though? When I hop off. Okay, we got we got a... I should... I need a parachute or a glider suit or something like that. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's, see, that's what I did last time. I pressed C. It disconnected instead of clicking right-click. Um, 
Um, um, um, um, um, um, um, um, um, um, um, um, um, um, okay. I'm terrified right now. I don't want to die to no bees. Let's go health potions, all right? Okay. 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 So at least this time, no, we can't take health potions while we're flying either. So if I go right clicks, can I reach my pteranodon? I can't even land there, but we can sort of reach it if we're lucky. I think we just go for it, right? We're just going to go for it. Let's just go for it. Come on. Come on. Nearly. Nearly. Got it. And we're out. Oh, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> Why? What happened? The stinking bees. Oh, I hate this game. Oh, I hate this game. Oh, I'm ready to rage quit. I'm ready to quit this thing. Ah, oh, well, you're in the right spot, buddy. Boy, am I glad we did what we did with you. I should have left that teleporter exactly where it was. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. What is wrong with me? This one thing to die, like, in that manner. It's a whole nother thing to do it twice, like, in a row. I can't even see where I'm going now. What direction am I traveling? Where are those big old trees? This way. This way? That way? I can't see him. I think I see something in the distance over this way. Oh, man. Well, plus another one to that death counter. All right, there's that Quetzal. We've seen this Quetzal. He's like my point of, point of, I don't know. He's how I remember where I'm at. There's my buddy. This one's gonna be a terrible one to get. I don't even know where my boy's at. There he is. I can see my Tyranodon. Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave you here. I prefer, I, I much, I trust my Tyranodon a little bit more than I trust my Wyvern. I should send my Wyvern home, but I think we're safe. La last words. I think we're safe, right? Yep, told ya. I knew something was gonna come out. Bugs, stinking insects. Oh, you know what? That's actually a good thing. But whenever there's two flying ones, there's a couple walking along the ground. Where are they at? Where are they at? I only want them because I need chitin. I need cementing paste. Maybe they're not coming for us. All right. Where, 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 where did they go? There they are. 28? Is that it? Where's the other one? Oh, well. Good enough. Should probably kill my buddy, but it is what it is. Okay, well, two for two, absolutely terrible. Should probably make some uh, some tree platforms or whatever those things are called. Let's go. Get out of there. Let me go harvest my buddy. Did I? I think I did it. What's chasing me? Another tiger! And this is why you would never assume... That you're safe. Come on. Slice it to bits. Slice him to bits. Also, I don't know why they're calling him a tiger. It's more of a panther than anything, right? There we go. See you, buddy. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the hide. Uh, where's my teleporter, though? Where's that thing gone? Am I blind? I might be blind. There's another tiger there. Um... There's the insects that were coming for me at some point. Wait, my teleporter was visible. There it is. All right, well, I think we've got 10 honey. <laughs> but by the time I get home, it's probably gonna, uh... It's, we're probably gonna have one of those spoil anyways. So maybe I, th I think we should try and Get at least one more. Is that one safe? Is that, that's the one we just fell from. That's, yeah, that's the one we just messed up. I can't believe that. All right, all right, that, that shocks me. That looks like the safest one. It, well, I, I didn't realize you can't, anyways. I didn't realize you can't jump off onto pteranodons or whatever. We've already done this one. Oh man, there, is there a safer tree around? I don't like this. I don't like this place one bit.
Let's go try a different tree. Oh, listen to the bees though. Like it's so loud. The game knew what we came here looking for. But somehow, despite how loud the bees are, there ain't that many of them. I don't know how that works, but all right. Here's another little hive. Um, there's a little tiger dude. This one looks safe. I use that term very, 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 like, unconfidently. Uh, if I hop off of this, where do I end up? At least I can shoot the treat, maybe. Maybe I'll just put you... Nah, that, why, why would I do that? That doesn't work. All right, you know what? Let me just... If I, if I, if I, if I hop off, I kind of go over its shoulder. Is that consistent, though? Or is it, like, directional-based? Yeah, look, it shot me this way that time. I have no idea which way it's going to drop me. Okay, let's be careful. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. Um, maybe what I can do... I have no idea what I'm doing. Why am I so... I just can't think straight. <laughs> this is so dumb. I'm going to find an easier one. Enough with these B noises. I get it. The game's teasing me. I'm probably going to find out that there was like a really easy way to get honey. And I was just too dumb to know about it. Like, what's the bet this gives me honey or something? I'm so glad it didn't. I'm so glad it didn't. I probably would have cried. All right, it looks a little bit quieter over here. So maybe this is, maybe this is the tree we've been looking for. Man, I like, I like how this quetzal was flying around these trees though. It's kind of cool. All right, all right. Any honey up in this one? We got any honey up in here or what? This doesn't look completed. It looks like it's still a work in progress, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this map's finished. Uh, no, no honey. Is that a death worm? Oh, it's a basilisk. A dreadful basilisk. Yeah, okay. Don't mind me, buddy. Just passing by. Yeah, this, I don't like this area. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. I just don't feel safe out here. I don't think we're ready for this area just yet. We'll come back here another time. I think, though, for now, we've got our 10 honey. Before it spoils, we're going to go home. We're going to craft us up this little healing potion. We're going to heal up our spino. And we're going to go drop a ton of firepower on that stinking alpha tribesman. But before we do that, I'm going to place a teleporter down. This is the original place that we heard the bees, by the way. So we've sort of gone like full circle. What are we gonna what are we gonna nickname this place? I feel like calling it just like broken feet. I mean I feel like all we just do is fall down and break our feet left, right, and center. Let's head home to the beach of Miola. That really needs to be renamed. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. I even looked it up. I looked it up on the internet. That makes no sense. Alright, I'm turning this aggression outline on. It bugs me. It's so annoying. It just looks so ugly we've got us our 10 pieces of honey we've got us everything else that we need let's get this health potion this thing better work now where's my boy there he is what was with all the fog hey ready hey right 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 chuck that in there Hey, I should have leveled up his health a little bit more before doing that. It doesn't matter. Our boy is completely healed up now. What an adventure. Just to heal up a dinosaur. We're not done, though. I've got, I've got, I got something to deal with. I got someone who needs a little bit of dealing with, if you know what I mean. Look, I should have killed that first. Got a little bit of experience and then leveled him up, but oh well. Too late now. Too late now. We're going to make sure that we keep on touching the water as well, because we get this 30 second, like, Damage buff. Man, look at all the Pegamastaxes here. There's three of them. Oh, yeah, look at this. Is it? Oh, no, that's not an attack. It's just a roar. He's got like a C attack. He just roars, though. I didn't know that until just recently. All right, where's our guy at? Where's my, where's my target? Where is he? There's a couple yellow tribesmen. Wait, is he still here? After all of this, my alpha boy better still be out here. Maybe I'll just kill the- Oh, yeah, I see him. All right. Get off me, Daodon. Not enjoying that, buddy. Not enjoying that. Where is he? I just saw that little cloud of red smoke. 
Oh, here he comes. That's not him, though. You, what did he, he just took my stim berries. That's fine. That's fine. All right. I'm not going to enjoy this. You stay back, big boy. You stay back. Oh, man. 1,400 damage. All right, let's stand up. And do a little bit more damage. 2,000 per hit. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we don't even have to attack those guys, by the way. <laughs> they just despawn on their own. They're on a timer. But there he is. Yellow Alpha. He's getting way too close. But see, if I... Okay, we can do this in like four hits. If we play our cards right here. I just... I want his... I want his dinosaurs to despawn. Before we do it. Come on. Come on. Let me just... Let me just kill this Trillabat. I never have too much cotton. Alright. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. You want some of this? You want some of this? I beg to differ. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. No time to waste. Let's go, big boys. Let's go. Let me at him. Let me at him. Oh, look at that leap. Come here. One, two, three. Oh, he's got some good dinosaur damage resistance. He must have a nice set of armor on him. Come on. Yeah, you gotta get a hit on this. Oh, he keeps spawning creatures though. There it is. There it is. That's the one we're looking for. Take that, you piece of trash. Nice. What we, we unlocked a bunch of stuff. <gasps> Ooh, Prime Blood Pack. A rare pack containing a rare resource. What's this one? Yellow Tribesman Kibble Pack. Okay. And Alpha Die Pack. Dude, we got a bunch of stuff. And seven levels of experience. <gasps> if only we had another health potion, I'd put some more levels into health. <laughs> oh, well, let's have a look at what we got here. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Prime Blood. I forgot that that's a thing. We got some crappy boots. And we got some dyes that at least we can dye our armor and stuff. And then this one here, kibble pack. So we got a bunch of crappy kibbles. Oh, hey, I just killed your master. Was he, he was a red or was he a yellow? What was it that I killed? Which one was it? It wouldn't have been the red. The reds are supposed to be really, really hard to kill. But either way, we took down the threat. Things are feeling pretty good. I feel nice and safe. I'm back all alone on my little paradise island now. Just the way I want it to be, man. This base, it either needs expanding or it needs replacing. <laughs> We're outgrowing it pretty quickly, even just as far as like storage goes. We're really, really running low on storage. We got all these dyes now. At least we can dye some saddles or something. This guy here can get a nice, you know what? He deserves a treat. Let's go and grab that saddle. All right, let's go and let's go and do something nice to it. How can we how can we paint this guy? I feel like a little bit of a little bit of low key action right now. Let's go put white on the little buckles. I feel like that makes sense. Or yeah, now white buckles, white buckles for sure. Um, those straps. See, I don't want to make them red. We can make them pink. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, the straps are gonna go pink. The seat. I guess that can go like red or, or white for that matter. The bulk of it. Oh, that can go white, maybe. We're gonna waste all of our paint right away. And that can go like black or red. Or red. Or black or right. Or red. Or red. That can go red. Let's have a look. Chuck it on. <laughs> oh, it is a female. It even makes it's cool. Yeah, you know what? I like it. I like it. I dig it. It's staying just the way it is. He's got his own personalized saddle. She, she has her own personalized saddle. Now she just needs a name. I'll give it some thought. But for today, guys, we are done. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy it, then make sure to go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. And as always, keep on smiling, have a fantastic day, and I'll catch us tomorrow. Bye for now.